thank you all for coming this evening. It's not very often that odd instruments like natural horns get such a reception, and we really appreciate you coming. Uh, to the best of our information, this is the first time this program has been performed on the natural horn in this hall. All these works, of course, were written for this instrument. And uh, we're going to play for you a piece uh, by Johann Wenzel Stich, uh, sometimes known as Stich. Uh, he changed his name to Giovanni Punto, but that generally doesn't seem to bring any size of recognition either. <laughs> Giovanni Punto was, uh, if you remember from your program notes, uh, the horn player who premiered the Beethoven Sonata. He was the Barry Tuckwell of his day, the premier horn player of the world at that time. Uh, he has an interesting, colorful, and somewhat checkered past, and maybe that'll help you appreciate something about this piece. He began life, as I said, as uh, Johann Wenzel Stick. He was born a peasant in the service of the Baron von Thun uh, in Lower Bohemia, as opposed to, I suppose, Upper Bohemia. Uh, Punto uh, was, as I said, a serf, a peasant, and his primary uh, task in life was to be a forester, which had nothing to do with trees in those days. It was someone who was involved with that huge uh, social event of the aristocracy of the 18th century, the hunt. And foresters were charged with the task of running around and beating the bushes, chasing animals out in the open, and then signaling with the hunting horn those who were their betters, I suppose, sitting back uh, with stirrup cups of neat brandy on the horses. Well, and to make a long story short, Punto showed uh, remarkable progress on the horn, and so to acquire some degree of status in having a larger horn band than anyone else, uh, Von Thun sent young Punto, or uh, young Stick at that time, off to uh, Paris to study the horn and to learn more rough and ready choruses for the horn band. The only problem with all this was that, of course, as young Stick discovered the joys of Paris, he didn't really want to go back to lower Bohemia. <laughs> That's not too surprising. Uh, so to encourage him to do that very thing, uh, the Von Thun uh, sent three uh, rather burly thugs to fetch Stick back to lower Bohemia. The only problem with this was that, of course, they didn't really come across as music lovers to the Paris society at the time. They warned Stick, and uh, as an aside here, this is a parenthesis, uh, the name Stick can also mean uh, to be in a lurch or in a ditch. And that's exactly what he did. He left the three thugs in a lurch and went off to Italy, changed his name to Punto, and became the famous composer of this next piece, which is called the Rondo Achas. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.